Good morning, my friends. Good morning. Welcome to the adventure. I don't even know if it's morning or not. Maybe it's good afternoon. I don't know. But good morning. I mean, I'm so happy to be here another day. I'm so happy to bring what feels right for me to bring into the world and to shine into the world. You know, I have this idea that if you are living in a, in a time where many people are thirsty, that if, you know, to see if you can bring water to as many people as you can. You know, if there's a deficit of kindness, shine kindness out into the world. So, um, you know, I, I, I've, I don't know exactly the flow of all this, you know, in the sense, uh, I'm still very much involved with this 40 day program. And I hope that you are considering it too, you know, and again, the idea of the 40 day program is not a one-time event. It's a, it's a series of events. Each of the 40 day programs is a single pearl. And each of these pearls is you in relationship to yourself, learning how to motivate yourself more efficiently, learning how to be more in contact with, with, with your own passion in life. I'm not asking you to be like me. I'm asking you to find yourself in your passion. Uh, this is about learning how to calm yourself and learning to experience this whole life as an adventure because surely this is an adventure. You can't hate the world and love yourself at the same time. It just doesn't happen. I'm, I'm asking for you to develop depth you know, to me, time is not just length, it's depth. You can spend five minutes or, you know, that means the world to you to spend five minutes with someone you love. And you can spend five minutes like eating, um, you know, popcorn where you don't feel like you're getting anything out of it. So, uh, you know, be aware of that. Be aware of the importance of being more and more honest with yourself. How can we say we're honest with ourselves? To me, honesty, self-honesty is a continuum. You know, as I've said, you know, my greatest honor I ever experienced in terms of anything anyone ever said to me. And I've, and I've been fortunate enough to have people say some amazing uh, things to me. Was my daughter saying, Dad, the thing I respect about you is that you always improve. You know, we can't expect people to come out of toxic situations and not be toxic. You know, the average person is going to do what the average person is doing in their environment. If they grow up in a really toxic situation, to expect them to not leave there with toxicity is irrational in my perception. So uh, if, if I can, I also, again, want to leave you with reframing. And so to me, you know, and first of all, what I work to do is to, uh, I, you know, I do this professionally. I mean, I, I, I do public speaking. I do trainings. I do corporate trainings. I do um both group classes and also private sessions. And I do it with people from all over the world. I feel fortunate in that, in this time, to find the advantage of radiating, not just in my neighborhood. But, uh, you know, I'll, at the same time, I, I'm not talking to someone who hasn't worked out. I am working my stuff out. One, one of my greatest influences was Wayne Dyer. I read the book, Your Erroneous Zones in 1976, and I grew up in a toxic environment, and it was very, very helpful to me. I, I met him once um, in the early 90s. I went to a presentation he did with several hundred people there. And uh, one of the things he, well, for, first of all, he, he said, uh, if anyone would like to talk to me after this, after this session, please come up. And then it was done, and nobody went up there. And I'm like, well, I'm going to go talk to Wayne Dyer. It was a beautiful moment in my life. It was a moment where I talked to one of my heroes. I put that in quotes because then I really don't, put people above me. You know, I don't care who it is. I feel equal to them. I don't feel better than anyone and I don't feel less than anyone on some levels. You know, I deal with self-esteem issues, but it's different in a way. But I, I went and talked to him and it was really beautiful because he really spoke to me. He really, he, it was two human beings speaking to each other, not like over some sort of image or some sort of uh, persona. But one thing he said to me that I never forgot, and it wasn't in a, in a good way in a sense, is that he told me he had never dealt with self-esteem problems or issues. And I was really fascinated by that because to me, I'm like, well, you, you can't do anything for me then. For me, that's like, uh, well, I shouldn't say he couldn't do anything because he did a lot. But on some level, he couldn't reach me because he hadn't been where I had been. You know, to me, it's like a, uh, having a really thin person uh, saying you know, talking about weight issues to a bariatric patient. It's just like, well, you've never had weight issues, so how can you really relate? So, so that was my perception anyway. So I, I, I deal with challenge, and I deal with it in my daily life. 
But I am fortunate enough to have developed a process over time that's very effective for me and has shown itself to be very effective to other people. And, uh, you know, just, and so that's what I, I work to bring forth in these videos and again, generally as well. So one last element, and I just think it's so important to have humor in it, is I, one of the things I tell people about dealing with this time is that it's very much like being a middle-aged man. You know, and uh, being a successful middle-aged person, I feel, uh, I mean, in terms of your emotional relationship to, to, to where you are, is very similar to living in the world in this time. You know, what I'm saying is it's important to frame the picture in a way that makes you feel like you're winning. You know, uh, there's a lot of things that aren't that pretty about, you know, stepping to middle age. You know, I, I can't play sports the way I used to. If I was going to play basketball, I'd have to have emergency services nearby. Um, when I get out of the shower, I have to frame th I have to be very good at reframing when I get out of the shower in order to make myself feel good about it. You know, I look at, I look at, I, I'm quite sure my 18 year old self would be horrified to see the new Drake, you know, and I, but uh, I get out, look in the mirror, going, hmm, could be worse, <laughs> you know? Hey, this could be a lot worse, you know? I find the, the, the benefits of being in middle age, you know, the, the, the growth and wisdom. And by the way, growing older is not a, a, a guarantee for growing more mature, right? There are very few elements or very few things that are more unpleasant than a petulant elderly person. And yet there's nothing more beautiful than an than a elderly person who is shining with wisdom and shining with, with love that's not blocked by the impediments that they face. So there's those elements. There's the elements of forgiveness, the elements of, of realizing what forbearance means, you know, to be willing to go through, go through elements for your fellow human beings. So this and much more. And again, nothing more important than having humor. For any of you folks who haven't reached middle age yet, Please develop a sense of humor because you're going to need it. So anyway, and, and, and again, that's what I'm saying about this time. You know, okay, it could be worse. Yes, it's difficult to walk around. It's difficult to get up every morning and not know what's, what's going to be operational. It's, it's challenging to have chronic health issues, and I have, I have several that are really, really challenging. However, what I am finding is I love life and enjoy life now more than I have ever in my entire life. Yeah? So I'm going to ring the bell. Enjoy your day-to-day. -day. You know, we only have, uh, you know, I, I, I'm not sure where exactly we are on the 40 days right now, but, you know, it's only like uh, we're, we're almost halfway. Right? Good time to talk about middle age. Here we go. Listen carefully. I bring my hands in a prayer position. I bow to you, my dear friends. Namaste. Much love, man. You got this.